because we started a Facebook page really before most other websites were thinking to do that, right? Mm -hmm. And so our Facebook page grew organically so quickly, um, and it reached around forty to 50,000 followers yeah, yeah. by the fall of 2012, this at is which before, point we had our very first meet and greet. Yeah, this is before uh, Facebook was squelching people. Right. Yeah. And so once we hit that threshold, things really seemed to take off. But, but I mean, it was slow and steady growth until January of 2013. And in January of 2013 is when I wrote a post on our website that was entitled, Jay Carney can kiss my assular area. Yes. And that was reported to Facebook en masse by liberals who took exception to the fact that I was criticizing Jay Carney yeah. in such a way. Yeah. So she was shut down, and I was still up, and she called me at, like, oh, my God, I was, like, 5 in the morning. She I was panicked because I got me, I tried me, to get she was in, freaking out. and it said, you're locked out of your account because you uh -huh. said bad things. Yeah, so she was freaking out. She immediately, you know, contacts me, and, and I'm still up, and she's like, oh, my God, they're going to shut me down, which means you're probably going to be shut down next. And I'm like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? <laughs> so this is way before I it was cool to be shut down on Facebook and it was you know 2013 so I immediately like did like a PR assault and I started letting all of our followers know we're gonna get shut down like screw them man we're gonna get shut down fight the man <laughs> and so I was letting everybody know everybody everybody tell you tell all your friends you tell all your friends and so it was it was just that it was a PR assault and they did you know all of our followers let everybody know that, that was this was happening to us and then word got out to um, Todd Starnes at Fox yeah. News Radio. And keep in mind, I'm at work. I'm like sitting in my office too, at work. Yeah. We and both... all of a sudden, my phone rings and it's freaking Todd Starnes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, what? What the I, hell? So yeah. it was incredible. And so he said, listen, this is a big story because, by the way, it was. It was. It was a huge story. At we that were the time. first to really go through this kind of Facebook mm -hmm. um, censorship. And so he calls and he says, I really want to do a story about this. However, in order to do it, you're going to have to reveal your true identities yeah. and, to and, the world. And I remember you called me when I was at work and you were like, this is what's going to have to happen. Our names are going to come out. And I was like, oh, oh crap. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> And so we said, okay, I guess we got to do it. And I remember exactly where I was when that mm -hmm. happened. Like I, I can pinpoint the the exact building I was in. Yeah. Because I was, my heart was pounding. I was like, oh shit! Like this is <laughs> this is so bad. What is going to happen? Like, what well, we we may get fired. You know, oh people, yeah. Because you know, being a conservative and that, and even now it's even worse. Worse but, now. But back then, and we were just freaking out. So that, so we did it. We, we said, did it. We said, okay, put our names out there, and the blaze picked it up, and um, and then. And then all of a sudden, we were flooded with support. Um, all we, we grew by thousands and thousands of followers yeah. overnight. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. It was. 